All right, guys, this is Syphic back again, coming at you with another uh, pickups video, and uh, I found some pretty neat stuff, actually. Um, some games, some consoles, and some toys. So let's go ahead and start off with some of the little toys that I actually picked up. Uh, was that a Goodwill? And I found some uh, WWF figures. I got this Andre the Giant figure. You can see it there's from the uh, classic Superstars series. This was $5.99, so I had to get it. It's pretty cool. And they had another one. A uh, Jimmy Superfly Snooka one. It's also five bucks from the classic series. So I'll probably keep those. Right, let's see what else we got here. Oh, uh, picked up these uh, Micro Machines uh, Star Trek uh, little collector set. It's got quite a few of these little uh, ships, and they're like made out of a uh, like steel or something, they're made out of metal. Um, they're kind of neat in, in packaging. Uh, looks like they're in mint shape. And picked up a second one as well, and these were three ninety nine a piece, so that's kind of cool. These are probably throw up on eBay or something. Unless anyone out there uh, is interested in uh, Micro Machines, hit me up. And this is from the Television Series 2. The other was from the Television Series 1. Uh, stumbled into a, another Goodwill where I picked up a PS2, uh, the slim ones, little mini ones. Uh, it's in excellent condition. I had to get it, especially for the price. It's only $9.99, so you know I couldn't pass that up. And uh, powered it on, tried it on, and it works great. It's red, red CDs, DVDs, games, you know, both CD, -R CD games and DVD games. So it works perfect. Uh, powered on perfectly. As you can see, I was playing uh, Tomb Raider on the PS1. But for nine bucks, man, I couldn't pass that up. So now I got one of these in my collection. And I had been looking for some PS1s. And I came across a bunch of them at a Goodwill for $9.99 a piece. And, I mean, I only picked them up only because they were in such great shape. I mean, there's like no yellowing or anything. They're in perfect condition. Super clean. Very minty. I mean, someone, I don't know who had these, but, I mean, they were in excellent condition. And came with some really nice controllers as well. Uh, got the first generation ones. And, they're, like I said, they're really clean. Like, if no one ever used them. And then we also got the um, analog one as well. So that was pretty cool. And two others, also for nine bucks. Uh, there was this one here, and these are the uh, audio file ones, some of the old connectors in the back. And like I said, it just they were all nine bucks, and they were in super, I mean, in amazing condition. I mean, they're like new. There's no stains or anything. Same goes for this one here. And uh, this one came with the memory card. That's another one of the audiophile ones as well. So somebody must have had a collection of these and just passed them on. And they all came with two controllers apiece. And uh, came with the generation one. There's another one there. Like I said, all in excellent conditions. Like no dirt anywhere. These were not even used. And then well, and then they also came with this charcoal colored one, which I've never seen the first generation one in a charcoal color. I know they're always in these colors. I know this one came in the dual shock, like in black, but I've never saw them in charcoal colors, so that was pretty cool. And like I said, those were $9.99 a piece. And they did come with the audio and video cables as well. Uh, for 17 bucks, I found a Nintendo 64, the green one. So $17.99, came with the cables and the power adapter. And it came with three controllers, none of which are the green one. It came with the uh, the, I, the Arctic, I guess, color. And it came with a orange see-through one. And the purple one. So, but the green, but not the green one. So that was kind of weird. And the, that was 17 bucks. So three controllers, the N64. So it was very, very nice to add to the collection as well. And this one's in excellent condition as well. It's a little dusty when I picked it up, but as you can see, it's really, really clean. No marks, no nothing. So someone really, really took care of this. So that was pretty cool to pick up. Tested it out as well. Let's 
see what else we got here. All well, right, went to a uh, little thrift store and picked up this Freedom Stick. Now, this company, Comerica, used to make uh, third-party controllers for the uh, NES, and uh, this one was uh, $4.98. Everything that was orange that day was, I believe, like 50% off or something, so I paid a couple of bucks for this. And it's like an excellent shape. I think it's actually new because there's like no marks on it. Um, it's got the uh, the wireless receiver. And the cool thing is that this is the model that came with all the accessories to connect to different consoles. So it connects to the NES, the, uh, looks like the Super NES, the Genesis, and it looks like it has an adapter for like a computer as well. So that's pretty cool. So you're able to use this with a bunch of different consoles. It's got the uh, rapid fire and so on and so forth. Start select, the two buttons here. So it's actually pretty nice. So that was another pretty neat little score there. Let's see what else we got going here. At another Goodwill, walked in and saw a bunch of uh, Nintendo 64 games and Super Nintendo games behind the counter. Got all excited. And uh, the, the girl who was there actually, um, she sees me in there all the time and she was like, dude, you missed out on some great games. Some guy came in and got some of the good games. And I was like, okay. So I started looking through them and I'm like, these are some pretty good titles this guy must have passed on. This is Raiden Trad. These are $2.99 a piece. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles in Time. So this is my second copy. Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3. And Spider-Man vs. X-Men. So I'm thinking the guy probably took all the like Mario games and stuff and probably didn't know what the hell. You know. I mean, come on. If you're really into Super Nintendo, you're not gonna, you know, pass on Turtles in Time. That guy was an idiot, obviously. So those are $2.99 a piece. See what else we got here. Okay. This was a little, a little steep. This was a $7.99 at a Goodwill. It's the uh, Extreme 3D Pro uh, joystick made by uh, Logitech. Came with the uh, CDs for it. It's in really, really nice shape. Really excellent condition. It's a USB. I'll probably end up fiddling with it. Maybe download some sim games. You know, some simulator games. Play them a little bit. And uh, I'll probably just throw it up on eBay or something. These go still fetch about 25, 30 bucks on eBay, so I'll probably just sell it after. But it's really, really nice, actually. It's very stiff. It, I mean, it feels really, really nice. I really, really like it. I might just keep that, actually. Uh, let's see what else we got here. All right, hit up another thrift store where I picked up these following uh, GameCube titles. They're $4.99 a piece. I picked up Resident Evil Zero. Um, fortunately, it is missing the manual, but it uh, has both discs in excellent shape. Picked up Sonic Heroes. I wouldn't have got this. I, I wasn't sure if I had it or not. Turns out I did have it already, but oh well. Second copy. This one is complete. Uh, manual game in excellent shape as well. And I picked up another Legend of Zelda Collector's Edition. Now, there is obviously this was, you know, water damage. As you can see there, it's kind of tearing here. Um, but the main reason why I picked this one up also, well, I mean it is a rare title, is I have a mint, uh, a mint uh, uh, one of these already, but it is missing the manual, so I'm just going to take the manual out of here and put it in the mint shape one. Maybe sell off this one, you know, and the disc is in excellent shape, or maybe if anyone wants to trade for it, and if anyone just, you know, maybe is missing the disc. Um, but yeah, the cover is water damaged, so, but uh, yeah, pick that up as well. See what else we got here. All right, and decided to pick up a copy of Rock Band. Yeah, two dollars at a Goodwill, so no big deal. It's in excellent shape, and I always like the game. So the girlfriend likes to, you know, sing and stuff on on this. So whatever. And then for a buck, picked up Destruction Derby 2. Love Part One. It's awesome to have uh, Part Two. Um, this was a dollar. And last but not least, uh, picked up at another thrift store. Got Utopia. For $2.99. Never heard of this game, but it looked kind of cool. Uh, looks like it's one of those, uh, you know, SimCity type games. So that was kind of neat. And last but not least, picked up Batman for the Genesis. Now it is missing the manual, but it's got the game in good, in good you know, really nice shape. So, and I hear this game is actually pretty cool. So, got that. So, that's all. That's all I picked up this week. Um, don't think I forgot anything else. But I uh, have a package coming in that I'm really excited about. should be arriving within the next couple of days, so I'll definitely be doing an unboxing or, you know, a package video. 
But um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. It's uh, kind of dragged on a little bit. But um, if you guys are interested in any of this stuff, hit me up. Um, I'm always down to trade for, you know, Sega Saturn, you know, Turbo Graphics stuff. You know, so other than that, I hope you guys are having some good luck out there. And um, really excited. Uh, it's, the weather's starting to get better. And uh, start hitting more flea markets up. And uh, we'll see what we find out there. So uh, until next time, you guys take care. Hope you guys are having a great time out there picking. And uh, keep the retro scene alive. Uh, this is Syphic signing out. Later.